All right, if you guys missed it, the other day we tried to install every ESO add-on at once just to see if it was even possible and how the game would run, if it would run. And it was quite interesting, and that video will be coming later, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that bad boy. But we did find some cool add-ons uh, throughout this process, and I've got a few other ones that I've been using over the last month, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video, so let's get into it. Alright, so first add-on I want to talk about, and this is kind of uh, in response to using proc sets and being able to track the proc sets uptime and downtime. There's a lot of sets that will do this, but I think Axios is how you pronounce it, does it the best and is just easy to use. You don't have to really do anything. I've been using buff timers for a long time, but buff timers doesn't track downtime, where this add-on will track downtime. And what I mean by that is if you're running, say, a set like Mechacurity, it is really important to know when your Mechacurity is going to be up next. So as you can see here, it's tracked my procs and it's my time. As soon as it runs out, it goes red and starts counting down the downtime. Now, this will auto detect what proc sets you're running and automatically put them up on screen. So it's detected that I'm running Mechacurity and Rallying Cry on this setup and it's gave me the buff timers for said things. The customization on this add-on is quite fine, nothing too crazy. You can adjust the colors, the size and the font and that kind of stuff. So overall, I've found this add-on to be pretty damn good and especially really, really good when you're running sets like Mechacurity and you need to track the downtime on the set. All right, let's move on. We all know of Grayskull, the add-on that shows you your weapon damage. And the next add-on is kind of like that, but just on steroids. Now, as you see this box in the middle of our screen, you can move it around wherever you want it, but it is going to give us a lot of information. Our penetration numbers, our crit chance, our crit damage numbers, our physical and spell resistance, and also our movement speed. So it's just a nice little clean add-on that gives you a lot of information. Now, there is no settings or anything for this. It is what you get besides being able to move it around. I would really like to see this add-on modified so you can get rid of, say, your off stat on here just so it cleans up the window a little bit. But as it stands, I've really enjoyed this add-on. I think it's just really clean and useful in many ways. And it's sitting at like 200 installs. So I'm pretty sure once people work out that it's there, it's going to get a lot more installs and be used a lot more. There's not much else to say about this, so let's move on. The next add-on is just a little time saver add-on that can help you at the end of campaign. It can be a little bit annoying, especially if you have lots of characters to check if you've got tier one on them all or what the go is. And all it does is put a box up on your screen as you can see next to the lines tab and it's just a visual indicator of what tier each character has. As you can see, only one of my characters right now has a tier and it's tier three. And that's it. It's cool. It's useful. Uh, let's move on. Okay, the next add-on is quite simple too, but if you see someone in the game that you want to talk to, a lot of people will type out their at name in chat, and that is just long and time-consuming. This add-on allows you to do it in one single key press, so you do need to go in and keybind this add-on to a button, but once you do that, you see a player that you want to message, you hit that key bound button and their at name is auto filled into chat and you can type away at them. I'm just going to say hi to a strange person on the internet. That's always going to end well, but nice simple add on. It makes things a lot easier if you need to communicate with people. And let's be right, real here. Most people will use this to send hate tells in PVP, no doubt. But hey, it's a handy add on to have and use. All right, the next add-on I'm going to show off is from a good friend of mine, Mr. Void Biscuit, and what he has done is basically made the best emote uh, add-on for ESO. Not only do you get most of your normal emotes that you would expect to see, you also get a lot of Twitch emotes. So as we scroll down here, you'll see there's my thanks Gina emote. We'll do it in real time here. Copy, paste. 
bang, there's thanks, Gina, again. Still, to this day, one of the best emotes I've ever made. Anyway, uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. There is a few settings. You'll see in your add-on list, too, that you have these emote packs and if your favorite Twitch streamer isn't here and would like their emotes added to this add-on, it's reasonably easy. Reach out to myself or Tim, and when he gets some spare time, he should be able to add their pack to the list, and it will be just a matter of updating the add-on. Uh, there's not really a whole lot of settings to go over with this add-on, but there's obviously the scale, so you can have gigantic genas going on. Uh, let's have a little look, see at this. The, the big, big gina, uh, and so on, so on. It's, it's a cool add-on, it's a fun add-on, and I think the more people that install this, the better it gets, because the more people that can see it. It's got quite a few downloads now, but I think, hopefully, going forward, it'll get more and more, and we can all see everyone's wonderful Twitch emotes inside ESO, and it'll be a fun time for everyone. Anyway, boys and girls, that's pretty much this video. I have lots more add-ons I want to cover, so... Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any cool add-ons that you think are worth sharing, especially the lesser known ones, because there's a lot of cool ones in this game that just don't have a lot of attention. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.